Grade 8 Arts, Learning Materials for Quarter 2, East Asian Arts, for China, Japan, and Korea. This quarter will introduce you to the arts and crafts of China, Japan, and Korea such as painting, calligraphy, pottery, paper kites, knot tying, woodblock printing, yokio, and paper cutting. You will learn that these countries focus on the nature as their subjects or team in their arts and crafts. To start with, did you know that painting started from prehistoric man? He used red ore and black pigment. Early paintings often showed a hunting scene of a man, a chasing of various animals such as horse, rhinoceros, lions, buffaloes, mammoths. These prehistoric paintings were drawn on the wall of caves. black of stone, etc. and found all over the world, including China. The history of Eastern painting is as old as the civilization of the people in China. It is historical comparable to Western painting. Eastern countries continue to influence each other's productions of arts over the centuries. The painting subject or themes are flower and birds, landscape, palace and temples, human figures, animals, bamboos and stone the chaban painting subject or themes are scenes from everyday life narrative scenes crowded with figures and details the south in North Korea, painting subjects or themes. Subjects are divided into five categories. One, landscape paintings. Two, minwa, the traditional folk painting. Number three, the four gracious plants, land blossoms. Orchids or wild orchids, chrysanthemums, bamboo, and portraits. Important aspects in East Asian painting. Landscape painting was regarded as the highest form of Chinese painting. They also consider the three concepts of their arts, nature, heaven, and humankind, or yin yang. Chinese society, basically agricultural, has always laid great stress on understanding the pattern of nature and living in accordance with it. Silk was often used as a medium to paint upon, but it was quite expensive. 
when the hand court you notch Kylon invented the paper in the first century. It provided not only cheap and widespread medium for writing, but painting become more economical. The ideologies of Confucianism Taoism and Buddhism play the important roles of East Asian arts. Chinese arts expresses the human understanding of the relationship between the nature and human. This is evident in the form of painting and landscape, such as bird and flowers, etc. This might be called the metaphysical, Taoist, the aspect of Chinese painting. To make sure your paintings interesting and realistic applied the six principles of Chinese painting established by Sishi, a writer, art, historian, and critic in the 5th century in China. Number 1. Observe Rhythm and Movements Number 2. Leave space for the eye to rest. Number three, use brush in calligraphy. Number four, use colors correctly. Number five, live up to the tradition by copying the master artworks. Number six, copy the correct proportion of the objects and nature. The history of Korean paintings dates to 108 Christ era when it first appears on as independent form. It is said that until the Hansen dynasty, the primary influence of Korean paintings where the Chinese paintings however Korean paintings have a subject such as landscape facial features Buddhist topics and emphasis on a celestial observation in keeping with the rapid development of Korean astronomy Mountain and waters are the important features in Korean landscape, landscape painting because it is a site for building temples and buildings. Landscape painting represents portrayal of nature. It's codified illusions of a human views of nature and the world thank you for watching